I'm going to finish talking about the interactive tools by going back to where we left off when we were annotating uh, the desktop. I'm going to look at the toolbox at the top icon bar. So if you drop that down when we're in desktop anim annotation mode, uh, you'll see some things that look familiar like printing, if you wanted to print uh, one of your projects, or if you wanted to do a screen capture, you could click the camera and it would take a picture uh, of your screen. You can select the virtual keyboard to pop up a keyboard, that way you don't have to walk back to your desk to type into something. And you can also uh, customize the settings. Uh, I've never really messed with anything here. Um, I would point out though, the next thing I'm going to talk about it is the, the spotlight shape. And here's where you would change it from a square to a circle. I'll mention that when I talk about the spotlight. Uh, another tool here is the uh, magnify tool. If you click on that, it lets you draw a box and then anything inside that box is used to, to fill the screen. So you can get a close look at something on the page. The uh, spotlight tool, which I just mentioned, lets you draw a box and then everything else on the page is hidden. And you can drag this box around or like I said in the configuration, you can make it a circle. If you want to cover the whole screen, you can use the blind tool and this covers the whole screen and then you can drag this down or over to reveal uh, any part of the screen you want to reveal. Now I'm going to hop over to the whiteboard mode because there's a couple of uh, extra features on that side. So I open up the whiteboard mode. Now in my toolbox, I've got a couple extra tools. One is the background. So if I click on this, it'll give me uh, a lot of different options for the kind of pattern I show on the background. So I could do something like this if I wanted to draw a chart. Uh, I could put lines on there if I wanted to have my students practice writing. But it's just a background you can write on top of it. I could also choose to import a, a picture. If I had a picture, we wanted to do something with that, I could import it right into my, my whiteboard and then draw over it or whatever I'd like. Now, the last thing is this little thing that looks like an Elmo. Uh, this is a, a connected camera. If you have an Elmo, that'll work. Even if you just have the uh, camera that's built into your laptop, that will also work. Uh, I have a little uh, Elmo, so I took my little Arduino board that I have sitting on my desk and I popped it under the camera and uh, took a picture of it. If you wanted to, you could record this and it would be incorporated right into your saved project. That's a, a good overview of all the tools within the Easy Interactive Tools. Uh, if you have any questions about them, just let me know and we can add on to the series.